What's going on guys? Today is the official voyage day of me going to LA. It is 11.30 right now, my flight leaves at 5. So I want to be out of here by like 2. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to get into LA until around like 8 something. So I'm not going to be able to lift there. So I do want to get a back workout in real quick. I'm going to try to bang this out in an hour, hour and a half, hour and 15. I already got a little bit of a warm up in. Uh, five minutes on the treadmill. Just to like warm up the legs because I am starting off with uh, some deads. So I'm going to go back to like working with percentages, right? Because lately I've been. Lately I've been uh, just kind of going with the motion, feeling it out, kind of doing weights as I like feel like good about it. So now I'm just going to work off one rep maxes, percentages. We're going to start with deadlifts. I'm going to hit a, a warm up set with 50% of one, my one rep max. I have it all written down. I was thinking about it all day. 50% of my one rep max to start. Then I'm going to do, let's see. So I did 50% of my one rep max. I'm going to set my deadlift one rep max to one to 365. I'm going to do 60% for 8 reps, 80% for 6 reps, and then I'm going to hit 3 working sets of 3 to 5 at 90, 95, and 95. So, we'll see how it feels. I'm, I don't have my belt, so I might not even hit those last that last working set, but I'm going to be resting about 3 to 5 minutes. Then I'm just going to hit some bent over rows, because again, I'm at my home gym, so there isn't much, that I, much variation I can do, and then just do a little bit of uh, hypertrophy stuff, like single arm landmine rows. Whatever I can kind of get going with my home gym. Obviously doing some bicep curls, duh. What kind of back by day would it be without some bicep curls? But I'm gonna start right now. Um, like I said, footage is gonna be overlaid as I speak. So my first warm-up set is gonna be 365 divided by two, 182 pounds, so 185. I'm gonna hit that first set at like 10 or 20. And we're gonna get a through this! Alright, so first warm up like acclimation set 50% of 365, doing 185 for 8, 10, 15, whatever I feel. Alright, now I got 60%, 225. Acclimation set, number dose. Hit it for a set of eight. Let's see. I'm really, really focusing on my form, keeping my back tight, making sure I'm leaning back, and trying to get rid of like all the leg strain that I use. I tend to use a lot of my quads in terms of conventional deadlifts. And that's why my legs start shaking early. So. I'm trying to solidify my back, retract the scapula, get everything nice and tight, and just pull it off the ground with some sort of ferocity, you know? Freaking weights are going everywhere! Yeah. Woo! Alright, so I'm putting you guys at this angle right here, so you see my bar path. I'm gonna hit this for a set of six. That's my last like warm-up set. Also, I got this like makeshift belt that's at home, because I already packed my inser. So, again, form, form, form. That's the only thing that matters. Strength will come with form. Change the 
And so first thing, this belt is kind of annoying, I don't like it. And these, these warm sets are a little harder than I expected. So, I'm gonna move my warm rep max to 345. I know it's light, you guys are probably gonna come at me, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So, now I'm gonna hit two sets, one at 90%, one at 95%. I'm gonna do an AMRAP at 95 for a third set. But I gotta take my time here. Kind of gather myself and go from there. I'm really digging the home gym vibe. Kind of just talk to you guys one on one, give you pointers and stuff. But let's hit this first warm up set. All right, so I got two 45s, a 35, and a 10 because my home gym only has four 45 plates. I'm gonna hit 315 for a couple sets of five and go from there. Alright guys, so just hit that third set of deadlifts. Only show you the one. Now I'm gonna do some bent over rows. Just a little hypertrophy action. I'm gonna put you down right here. Nothing too heavy. What I like to do, this difference between pen lay rows and bent over rows. Pen lay rows, your back is as parallel to the ground as possible. And uh, not ideally, normally you're like you rest the weight for a split second on the ground and then you bring it back up. Bent over rows is where you're like a little bit angled. Back is still straight, but you're angled to the floor and usually the weight does not touch the floor and you go for higher reps. So I'm gonna do bed over row, eight to 12, feel it out. So what I do is I kind of deadlift it up. I like to go overhand too. You can go underhand, there's no big deal, but choose one, stay consistent with it and track it. So bring it up. I do a hook grip to activate as much of the back as I can and not the bicep. Bend over to about the knees or the shins and then pull up. Been over and of course, got to get my my intro workout in. All right, guys. So next movement, we're gonna do single arm land my row, land mine rows. So what that is, you put the bar up against the corner. Let me show you. So take the bar, put it up against the corner. I got a hoodie there to protect the wall because the wall's made out of wood and not like cement or metal. And then. I like to go pretty light, so it's only a 25 to start off right now, but I'm gonna show you guys single arm what it looks like. And I'm gonna do it from an angle right here, so you guys know what it looks like. I mean, I've been doing it lately, but I just have to like, get creative with my shit. Right. That's, that's your hoodie against the corner right there. Right here. What? Oh. <laughs> and you can play music out loud with your headphones. Yeah. It's not that bad. I guess if you like. You get creative, creative. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah, if you're creative. You're pretty creative. You're pretty creative. Uh, oh my god, I can Alright, guys, so last movement of the day. Just gonna do some alternate bicep curls because I only have. The only dumbbells I have at the crib or at the house are 35s, which is pretty good weight. So, so just gonna hit these. Get a good pump in, and I gotta get ready. So,
So we made it to the airport. Uh, I'm gonna go get some food, cause it's like, I don't even know. But it's like four o'clock, haven't eaten anything, checked in, line was very, very long, but probably made a flight is delayed about half an hour right now. So I'm leaving at 5.15 as of now, hopefully no more delays. Although it is pouring rain here in Philly. But let's get some food, cause I'm starving. Also that workout was nice, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be using a home gym a lot more because I can talk to you guys without like getting in other people's way and like worrying about getting caught filming. So it's good stuff. Looks I'm getting. Kind of funny. Ew. Let's go kill this. Also, most major key in the world, bring your own water bottle so you don't have to pay 12 bucks for a bottle of water. And this is definitely new at the airport. Ew. Didn't bring my more, I just bought this one. Hell yeah. That camera's gigantic. Yo, Look at my little yeah, guy. <laughs> There's too much going on. Me, yeah, I know. Me and Fernando are gonna kiss out. <sighs> Mike. Yo. Dude, there's so many people here. Yeah. All right, so we had to do it. The in and out. First meal in LA. Hasn't even been here for an hour and he's already getting in and out. Gotta. Spoiled. No. If you get them like fresh, they're the they're classic. Good. Made it to In-N-Out, had to do it. First meal. Ew. <laughs> but it tastes pretty good. The obvious comparison is to Five Guys. Obviously. It's mad greasy. Could I have like 10 of these? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, would, you, would I have 10 of these? Could I have 10 of these? Yeah. Oh. Am I gonna make it? How's that shake though? That chocolate shake. A little thick? It is thick. Hard to suck. But unreal. Like frosty on steroids. That's good. We didn't get fries though, because Mike said no to the fries. Why would you get fries? It's real potato. They're, they're real potatoes. As you guys know, real potatoes don't make good fries. Is that how it works? Go to McDonald's, <laughs> ask for Roger, he looks you up with the best fries. <laughs> you can't really see me though. Hold up, skirt. Alright, so overall, obviously, I'm gonna compare it to Five Guys. And I'm gonna say it's gonna be better than Five Guys. Woo. The animal sauce, was we'll that what it's called? It. Yeah, animal sauce. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> animal sauce. Fire. Delicious. It's like Mac sauce, except better. fresher and better. Because I don't really like Mac sauce, dude. Delicious. <laughs> we didn't get the fries though, so I'm definitely gonna get the fries at some point. And then the shake, like I said, uh, what's it called? What's the Wendy's thing called? Frosty. A frosty on roids. It was mad thick. I need a spoon though. Mm. <laughs>